libel, cyber squatting, cyber sex, child pornography, identity theft and unsolicited electronic communication are all crimes punishable under the Cyber Crime Prevention Act of 2012 or also known as RA 10175 enacted by the Philippines, due to the country's recognition of the importance of information and communication towards economic development and the need to protect computer systems and networks from all forms of misuse, abuse and illegal access. Under this act, various kinds of cyber crime are recognized and punished. Offenses against confidentiality, integrity and availability of computer data and systems, under this are crimes like illegal access of a computer system, illegal interception of any private transmission of computer data, to or from a computer system, and cyber squatting. Computer-related offenses like computer-related forgery, computer-related fraud, and computer-related identity theft. Another is content-related offenses. Under this are crimes like, unsolicited commercial communications, and libel through the use of computer system. The act also punishes any person who attempts to aid or abet, any cyber crime or any crime, that is defined in any existing law if committed through the use of information, and communication technologies. The Office of Cyber Crime, within the Department of Justice, was created to be the authority in all matters related to cyber crime and the Cyber Crime Investigation and Coordination Center, to be the nation's cyber security plan, and assistance for the suppression of real-time cyber crimes. In the Philippines, phishing, is being listed by Philippine authorities, as the top cyber crime being committed in the country. The pandemic has brought out the worst in some opportunists and in the virtual realm, it appears phishing attacks, are the cyber weapon of choice. The Philippines has been trying to enforce legislation on engineered phishing scams for years now, but with so many Filipinos online, all the time during the pandemic, the National Bureau of Investigations, Cyber Crime Division recorded a 200% increase since March. Next is online selling scams, one example out of many is the Extreme House of Beauty Trading Corporation scam where the company, offers to the public different kinds of packages and promise to double their money to investors, who availed the said packages. The Securities and Exchange Commission, issued an advisory on warning the public of the individuals and groups involved in such activities. Last is the I Love You, or sometimes referred to as Love Bug Virus. A computer worm, that infected over 10 million Windows personal computers, on May 5, 2000 made by a Filipino hacker, Arnold Guzman. The worm inflicts damage on the local machine, overriding random types of files, and sends a copy of itself to all addresses using Microsoft Outlook, that made it spread much faster than any other previous email worm. This video was made by Nico, for the subject ITE15.